Among the questions, how comfortable are you if you find out your neighbors are gay? Also asked, how comfortable are you if your new roommate is Muslim? Avery Cotton joining us now live at Fox Chapel Middle School. And Avery, this sounds more like a survey than a quiz. Well, good evening to you both. You know, it's not the first time we've seen one of these controversial assignments. In fact, we're starting to see them more often. Now, some parents say they're okay with teachers talking about these social issues in the classroom. Others say leave it out of the lesson plan. Two next door neighbors in your hall are lesbian. How comfortable are you? This controversial classroom assignment has a Fox Chapel Middle School teacher out of a job. They're kids. Let kids be kids. Why are they asking kids these questions? The title of the worksheet How Comfortable Am I? 41 questions putting eighth graders in what some parents believe are controversial situations. Specifically, the question that was on uh, the post about um, the gays in the bar. I think that you're asking kids to try to understand a situation that they may not be fully understanding of. Other questions involve racial and religious issues. What if you moved to a predominantly black neighborhood? Why are they subjecting children to this? She has a child in seventh grade and realizes these social issues are today's reality. They have social media. Figure they learn everything nowadays anyways. So, but yeah. Mm. I don't just don't think it's something that needs to be, you know, brought in school. School's here to learn. Some parents prefer they be the first to discuss how their children would feel if they saw their brother kissing another boy, for instance. I just think that sometimes kids are just too young to start that at this age and in school. It should be something that should be at home. Not everyone is unhappy. Seems weird talking about stuff like that with your kid. Rick Hunter's daughter saw the form from a friend. He says it makes parenting a little easier. I think the school could do it a lot better than we could. Be a lot more comfortable than we would anyway. Now, Daryl Cox just started teaching here at the school back in January. She taught an elective class called Leader and Me, but according to the school district, she has been fired for passing out that form. We have reached out to her for comment, but we have not heard back. Keith, Jen. Avery Cotton, Life Force in Hernando County. Thank you, Avery.